Okay, so this series of videos is going to be focused on the clothing for the Florida sportsman, uh, Florida outdoors person who's um, doing hunting, um, and uh, I'm going to first focus on the apparel. And this is uh, going to be for temperature ranges between, um, say, the coldest might be freezing through very, very hot, humid conditions uh, in early season. Um, so the area that I'm, I'm hunting is about an hour south of Orlando, just to give you an, uh, an idea. But it could be pretty much anywhere in Florida um, or South Florida uh, at that. So the uh, first uh, video that I'm going to focus on is uh, for apparel. It's going to be the uh, pants. And um, for the pants, uh, for all of the clothing actually, um, I have several different items I'm going to uh, review and kind of go over. Um, but just keep in mind that, you know, uh, this has been uh, several years worth of experience in trying and uh, trading and buying used, buying new, um, selling and, and buying on the forums and things like that. So um, hopefully this will be valuable to you and save you a bit of money in the end and just give you an honest assessment of uh, my experience with a lot of these items. So anyway, let's uh, get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the coldest condition pant to the very warmest condition pant. And so let's start off with um, the first pant I'm going to show you is a Sitka. Um, this, this is the, uh, the mountain pant, I believe it's called. I don't know. It's older. So I bought these used. A lot of these items I bought used on uh, places like archerytalk.com, for example. Um, and you could save a ton of money doing so and, you know, try them out. So anyway, the Sitka pant is my warmest pant. And... This, along with every other one, are extremely comfortable. Extremely comfortable. The, uh, the button is attached with additional wet. It's like it's webbing. So it's not like uh, thread, not threaded on. So very durable. These pants actually um, do have, the, the, if you were to buy them new, which I don't even think they sell them anymore, but it, I think new, they came with uh, knee pads. I never, it never came with knee pads because I don't really need them. I'm sitting in a tree stand. Um, and uh, extremely comfortable. I can wear, I wear these around the house too when it's, you know, in the wintertime. It's just, they're very, very comfortable pant. And uh, I'm not sure the camo pattern, but um, kind of unimportant really. Um, cypress trees, so it blends in really well actually um, with uh, the gray bark of the cypress tree. So, um, this is my go-to when it's uh, as cold as it's going to get, um, you know, zero, uh, not zero, but uh, freezing temperature uh, with wind chill. And if it's, you know, Floridians, us Floridians, we don't tolerate cold really well. So I'll probably, if it's really that cold, I might even have, um, you know, a, an under base layer underneath these as well. So the Sitka Mountain Pant is the first pant that I would recommend for the coldest uh, days here in Florida. Okay, so the next item is actually my first, the, it's the first brand and uh, of uh, clothing, uh, performance clothing that I really got into about five years ago. And it's by a company called First Light. And um, I was a little skeptical at first because um, their name to fame basically is Merino Wool. And you might be thinking to yourself, it's 100 degrees and 100% humidity. What are you doing when wearing wool pants? Um, all I can tell you is that um, the material works really well for the hot conditions. Um, it's kind of uh, hard to explain, but essentially what happens is, is that as you perspire, um, the, the uh, clothing and the material actually wicks it away from your skin and kind of keeps it off of your body. And then any breeze um, kind of has a cooling effect. So it's pretty amazing. And of course, when it's cool out, um, the merino wool keeps you warm. So um, pretty amazing material. The, this, is, this is the First Light Canab. I don't think they sell these anymore. They they basically just rename uh, their their line of uh, clothing every so often. Same with all these companies. But um, 
This is, again, this is the, the Kanab, K-A-N-A-B. Um, and it's, it's, it's um, an, the, the next um, uh, line, lighter than the Sitka Mountain Pant. So it's a, just a tad lighter in weight. You know, I would take these out, you know, in the middle of July, in the middle of the swamp, scouting. And it'd be, you know, it's extremely hot and humid. And they work really well, actually. So don't be afraid of the word uh, wool when you see it from a First Light product. Um, it actually works really well. So I have worn them um, in you know, fairly cold conditions for me, and I had no problem at all. So the uh, First Light Canab, great, great option. It's a good decision if you're looking at them for uh, the cold of winter. Okay, sticking with the First Light, um, it's called the Corrugate, and um, it's not a merino wool product. It's a blended poly type of pro, uh, material um, and you know I was extremely happy with the uh, Canab so I had no problem trying these out. Now I did buy these new and um, these pants are they, they're very form-fitting but they're extremely stretchy. They've got a lot of stretch to them and they're lighter, lighter weight, uh, just the, the weight of them of the pant itself overall, it's just probably, it's much lighter than the canabs, okay? Um, it's just a lighter pant. Um, they have an elastic uh, embedded in the waistband, so, um, you know, it, it, they, these are extremely comfortable pants. I can't tell you how, this is probably the most comfortable pant that I own, period, out of all the pants I own, whether they're hunting or lounging around. What, any other clothing item I have, this, these are the most comfortable. Um, again, they're, they're much lighter than the Canab, so they do work well in the uh, hot conditions. However, I would say that I prefer the Merino wool material for perspiration. These, um, they do well, but I don't think they wick away the perspiration as good as uh, this, the, the Canabs do. But I had no problem, I love wearing these actually. Um, in, in hot conditions, not a problem at all with the, uh, the first light corrugate is the name of these, th this pant. Now, last year I decided to try a different company other than first light. I'm extremely happy with first light and I obviously I still own their products and I love them. Um, but this past year, maybe two years ago, um, I found a used, I bought a used pair of Kuyu from a company called Kuyu. K-U-I-U, -U. and okay, very similar type of company to um, First Light, just performance apparel uh, geared towards hunting, and a lot of these are companies out west, so mountain type hunting, um, uh, western hunting, that's who they really cater to, but again, they, but all of these items, they work extremely well down here. This is the Torre series, or the Torre fabric, and it is the Teton, is the name of the pant. Um, the uh, these are actually a bit lighter than the corrugates, so I'm kind of getting even lighter and lighter um, in my progression of clothing. I prefer these over just about all of them for hot conditions. Any of these, the corrugates, the uh, um, the canab, and the other one I'm going to present in a minute. I had an extremely positive experience with these in very hot conditions. It's a, it's not a, it's not a wool material. It's a poly type material. There's a, a bit of stretch, especially when you, when it gets perspiration and it gets a little bit wet, there's even more stretch. They're form fitting, they're not loose. So I like that where they're, you know, it's, it's like an athletic fit. Um, I, I just don't like baggy things, you know. And, and um, one thing I forgot to mention about the canabs and the, uh, the corrugates is as they got wet, I felt like I had to like, you know, pull them up or I felt like they were getting heavy, heavy, heavy. These were the opposite. They didn't, I didn't feel that one bit. And that's really important to me that it felt like the same weight. It felt like um, I didn't have to like constantly pull them up or even with a belt, you know, the belt gets wet with, with sweat and it kind of gets loose. So um, these, they just perform superb when wet with sweat or perspiration. 
it wicked away the sweat very well i was very comfortable um sitting in the tree stand dripping sweat by the time you know because by the time you walk from the truck to the tree stand you're soaked um just because of the, the, such hot humid conditions whether it's at you know dark 30 in the morning or in the you know, obviously in the afternoon it's very hot too but um these pants work extremely well and uh, i uh prefer these over any pants that i've ever owned so far it, these are the kuyu uh teton all right so continue on with the kuyu pant because i had such an extremely good experience with the the used pair that i bought um, off the classified section i went and bought a brand new pair because um, i just i had no worries about what I, the product i was going to get so these are the tiburon i believe uh, and these are the lightest, even lighter than the Teton. Uh, they're extremely light. I will say that I have not had a chance to sit in the stand or use, use these in a hunting scenario. But I did use these uh, for work um, when I was out in the field in the Everglades, so it was extremely hot this summer. I was out there. These worked really well. They are extremely light. They're very well made. And they have, for example, the construction on them is it's just, they just details like the, the side vents where it's not a pocket, it's just a vent on either side that you can open up and it just basically allows heat to escape and um, it works really well. The pockets are very light and airy. So um, you can see, you can see right through the pocket material. The, the weight on these is just very light and um, the the wicking capabilities so the perspiration doesn't uh, weigh the the pant down it's just it's it's everything you want in in a pant when you're walking around the woods in July here in central and south Florida um, it's the complete opposite of if you're wearing jeans <laughs> okay um, they're they just they the performance of them is incredible and um, it's a smart, smart um, decision if you um, that I made to uh, invest in, in this type of clothing because it just makes the whole experience so much better. So really, for most of my hunting, these are the only two things I really need. And these, both of these, would work very well with uh, base layers if it gets cool out or cold. Um, there's almost no need for. Um, you know some of these other clothing anymore so but of course I'm never gonna let them go they're just really good comfortable pants to own and um, I love good gear so anyway um, these are the, the, the final of the series of all the pants that I own and hopefully you've gotten some good information from it I really appreciate your feedback and thanks for watching